Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to create a basic VBA user form. I'm going to briefly show you what it does, and then we'll unpack how to create it. So I'm going to start with this button, which opens the user form. And the user form is asking me for details on an investment. So let's say we're going to invest £10,000 then ask me for the term of the investment. So let's say I had 15 years to invest, and then it's asked me for an interest rate. So let's say 3%. So I click the run investment projection button and it produces a report for me. Okay, so let's look at how we actually create this user form. So we're gonna go over to the Visual Basic environment. So I'm on the developer tab of my ribbon, Visual Basic. And I've already got a module in my VBA project. If you don't know how to create modules, you just go to insert module. And these will be containers basically for your code. There's modules folder. And then I've got module one, which is the container. And I've got a sub procedure ready to go. So essentially what the user form does, well, the button on the user form, it runs this sub procedure. Now I'm not gonna go over how to actually write this sub procedure because you're gonna have a different set of code that you want to run at the back of the back of a user form. But we will have to edit this somewhat to, for example, give values to these variables and the values are gonna come from the form itself. So I need a value for investment, a value for term and a value for rate, which is, going to come from that user form as you sh as you saw at the beginning of the video and it's just going to go through use this little four next loops to go through and work out the investment year on year and then create some little totals for me so you're going to you're going to need a sub procedure that your user form is going to run but you're you are also going to need a user form obviously so to create that user form you just go up to insert here, then user form, and that will create an empty user form for you. Now, when you create a user form, you should also get this toolbox appearing next to the user form. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, then you can just go view toolbox here, and that'll toggle the toolbox on and off. This essentially contains all the elements that you might want to include in your user form. Now, the one of the first things you'll probably want to do once you've created your user form is to give it a name and also to change the caption at the top of the user form. And we can do this via the uh, properties window. If that's not on your screen, just go to view properties window and you can even expand the amount of space given to it on your screen. So I've got the name of the user form. So I'm going to call this form investment projection or PRJA. Don't put a space in your name because it won't accept it. But it's still not changed the text up here because for that I have to change the caption, which can have space in it. So investment projection. And you can see that let's change the text up there. Okay, so let's start designing our form. I'm going to use a little frame, first of all, just aesthetics really, just gives you a little container in which you can put your buttons. And we're going to put some text in here, investment details, and I can do this via the caption property. So investment details. So next we need some labels for our form. So I'm going to use the little label button here. So I'm going to create a label there, click once into it, and then I can edit the label text. And I can put investment in there. pound sterling in this case. And I can create one for the term, click 
Click once and edit. Term, and we want that in years. And then one more, I can have for interest rate. Okay, so we'll tidy things up a little bit here. Just move things around. It kind of snaps nice and easily with these little dots. Can line things up quite easily. I might just give a little bit more space and I'm also just going to decrease the size of these a little bit. You'll see it'll snap nice and easily to the grid behind your form. So we have our labels. Now what you want to do is actually give your labels a sensible name. So in the name box, I'm going to call this one uh, a label, LBL investment. This one I'm going to call LBL term. And this one I'm going to call LBL rate. Now it's good practice to name things descriptively, especially important when we get onto the actual text boxes that we're going to use next, because we're going to have to refer to those within our sub procedure that's going to run at the back of this user form. Okay, so let's add our text boxes. So this is the text box button. Again, I'll just click into the form where I want it to appear. And we want three of these. So what you want to do is definitely give these a name. So TXT investment. You are going to have to refer to these in your sub procedure. So TXT term. And we'll call this TXT interest. The next thing we need are two little buttons, one to cancel the form and one to run the investment projection. So I'm just going to make my form just a little bit bigger. Maybe draw this frame a little bit. So I've got some space to put my buttons and I'm looking for the button button. It's actually the command button, my toolbox. There we are, command button. So I click that and then I'll click down here. And then I can put a caption for my button. So this is cancel. And I'm going to give it a proper name. So command cancel. And then I want another button down here. It's going to run investment projection. So run investment projection. Okay, I'm going to change the size of that, obviously, so you can see the text. And that would be command run. So I might want to do a little bit of tidying up. I'll do that whilst I'm not recording and get back to you. Okay, so what I've got to do now is program this button here, run investment projection, to run the sub procedure that I've already prepared. So what I'm going to do is put the code for that sub procedure onto my clipboard, copy, and then go back to my form and double click on this button. That opens up a code window for that button, command run, and I'm going to paste in my code. So the code as it is, isn't in any way linked to the values that the user is going to input in those little text fields. 
So what we need to do is link those values that the user inputs and store them in these variables here that I've prepared. So I've got one for investment, one for term, and one from rate, which correspond to those three text boxes on the user form. So what I've got to do is say that the investment variable will equal the value put in the text investment text box that the term variable will equal the value that the user has put in the text term text box etc and then I have one more rate equals text interest now the only other thing you're going to need to add to your code is one little line just at the end after you've run all your actions in the code you need to put unload me which basically will close the user form once all the calculations are done so we've dealt with the command run button but we need to deal with the cancel button so i'm going to go back to my form and again i just double click on this button and the code for this is much simpler. Literally, it's just going to close the form. So we use unload me to do that. So the next thing to think about is how we open this form. We need something on our sheet or something like that that's gonna allow us to open this form. So I'm gonna go back to uh, my spreadsheet. I've got a new sheet here that I've created. I'm gonna create my little button to open the form. So I do that by the developer tab, insert button, ActiveX controls, and I've got my button button there. So I click on that, click somewhere on my sheet, create a little button for me. Then I double click on it. So I double click on the button and it opens up a code window for me. And I can give the button a caption name. So run new investment projection. You could give it a name if you're going to refer to it somewhere else. Uh, we're not, so we're just going to give it a caption. And in here, I just need to write one line of code. Um, and basically that will open the investment projection form. I did control space there to complete the, uh, the form name. And all I need to do is use the show method for the form. And that is enough to open up the form. Okay, let's head back to our worksheet. So I might want to extend the width of the button incorporate my name or the caption in it rather and I'm going to need to turn off design mode otherwise I can't use the button so I'm going to click on this button it opens up my little user form so this time I'm going to invest 50,000 over eight years with an interest rate of 2% run investment projection and it displays my little report what I could do is put a little code in to auto fit this column. That might be a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to the Visual Basic Editor and I'm going to add two little lines of code here. So I'm going to say columns A. I'm going to have that set at a particular column width. Column width equals 14 and columns I could spell it columns B dot auto fit again helpful if I could actually type columns B dot auto fit okay so let's run the code again so I go back to my sheet. Let's run a new investment. Let's invest 60,000 this time. 
Let's do 20 years with an interest rate of 5%. There we are. That looks much, much better. It's gone down to 20 years there. Okay, so hopefully a helpful little video that shows you how to set up a basic user form that's linked to a sub-procedure that you've already created. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.